guys on this side too. I guess we just named the Lisa guys. struggling with like, getting into routine this is my first year obviously that my daughter's in kindergarten now and I do get to work from home so that is a blessing like I work from home three days a week but like I'm struggling with like getting a routine because we're not morning people and like I get up and I just throw on whatever to go to take her to school and like I get her dressed obviously and ready and pack her lunch but I don't know I'm like because then I come home and I'm like unmotivated to like pull myself together but I always and some days I don't some days I'll just stay like with the bun and the mom uniform of the yoga pants and a tank top but I feel like it makes you feel better about yourself like when you like pull it together if you will so yeah I don't know I'm struggling with that and then this weekend we had a birthday party Saturday to go to and Sunday from one for one for two different uh, classmates of Lily's which was good for her and we took Karina too so she got to have they had a lot of fun but like it kind of like sucked up our whole weekend um so like all my duties or chores like laundry is backed up I'm cut I'm somewhat cut up I only have like three or four loads left but like I try to do a load uh every day to like stay on top of it but then usually on the weekend I'll kind of like finish off whatever I haven't done throughout the week because I get three days three days that I'm home basically I uh, try to do a load so yeah so I'm doing that and then like just cleaning the house in general like cleaning the bathrooms and sweeping and mopping and those kinds of things like I just didn't really because when I did get some free time um, which wasn't very much this weekend. I just didn't feel like doing them, which that's probably my fault. But, yeah, so now I feel like I'm playing catch up. And there's just things like my, um, I think I had showed you guys. I'll show you right now because I'm almost done with my hair. But my vanity drawer broke. Like, luckily it just, like, it's like two little clip thingies. So I'm hoping I can just buy those. Um. Like the little clips that hold like the railing. I don't know. This is the first time I've seen a drawer like this, but I'm assuming because it's like a built it's part of the built in 
um, countered. So that's why I'm assuming it's just like these little clips or whatever. But yeah, so. Um, so yeah, so I want to get ready now because when I pick up Lily from school, I think I want to run to Home Depot and um, go look for those clips because I like sitting here and getting ready and I can't. Because the drawer is, I just put the drawer on the floor because where else am I going to put it? And it's like a huge drawer. Let's see if I can show you guys. But like, can you see? All my junk is in there. And like, see these things came off. And so there's like a clip thing that like goes back there. In there. And then this like hooks into it. So, I gotta see if I can, uh figure that out but yeah that's it I'm just gonna finish getting ready and we're gonna hang out for a bit I'm gonna change and then um, we'll just hang out until it's time to go get Lily I may check back in later when we do lunch Karina's home with me but she's playing um, also I wanted to say I tried this I bought this it's new I guess elf matte magic mist and set I actually really like this, and it was only like four dollars, three or four dollars. So I've never used a setting spray, but I'm digging it. All right, we'll check back in later, guys.